Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, I have just filmed a sort my dressing table out and declutter with me. So if you wanna know what I've decluttered and what's in my dressing table, then please keep watching. So this is the other top drawer in my vanity. Also, if you haven't seen my vanity, it's just marbleized, which I um, will try and insert a picture or something, but it's on my Instagram. I just bought a cheap dressing table and then I marbleized it and put new knobs on. So this is pretty much where I keep all my high-end palettes. So I've got the Urban Decay Ultimate Basics palette. I've got the Makeup Revolution um, Life on the Dance Floor After Party palette, which is brand new. Um, I've only swatched it, but I want to do a first impressions on that. Then I have two Jeffree Star Cosmetics Beauty Color palettes. I've got a fake one, I've got a real one because I wanted to do a real v, real v fake video, which I haven't got around to doing yet, but I do want to keep the fake one anyway. I'll never use it, um, but I just want to keep hold of it um, so I can do that video. Then I have two ColourPop palettes which I made. So these have just got single shadows in. The blue one is in that other magnetic palette I've got. Um, so I got these and I paid a hell of a lot of customs, so I do want to keep hold of these. Then I've got my Morphe X Kathleen Lights collab. I never ever reach for this. Um, in fact, I don't really like it that much, but I love Kathleen Lights and this is one of my first videos on YouTube, so I do quite want to keep this for sentimental reasons. Then I've got my Too Faced Chocolate Bonbon bon palette, which is pretty much one of my top 10 palettes or so, and it was one of the first high-end palettes that I did buy, so I do want to keep hold of this. The top um, Swamp Queen Graveyard Girl palette, which I'm going to keep, but I don't really reach for it, but I'm going to keep it because it did cost an arm and a leg. Then I've got the Laura Lee Violet Voss palette, which I do really enjoy. I just never ever reach for it. It's so bad because it was a really pricey palette, but I do want to keep hold of it anyway because I love Laura Lee. So I can't bring myself to get rid of this. Then I have my Juvia's Place Nubian 2 palette, which I really, really do want to reach for more. This shade Zuri is absolutely beautiful. I also love Jezebel and all of them. So I'm going to put this near the top because I do want to reach for this more. Then I've got the Balm of Your Hand Greatest Hits, Hits Series 1. So it's got like Bahama Mama, Mary Luminizer, um, Hot Mama, Cabana Boy. I'm going to keep hold of this because I do really like this palette. I just don't reach for it very much, but it's really handy to have in my collection. Then I've got the Tartlet tease palette um which i never reach for so i'm going to gift onto a friend then i've got another one another color pop single shadow and this is in the shade cheap date so i'm going to keep hold of this because i do like this but i'm going to put it with all my other single shadows in that acrylic set then i've just got this morphe palette which i never reach for but it's quite handy to have so i'm going to keep hold of this And then in here, for some reason, I've got a mini Benefit High Beam, which I'm going to get rid of because I never use it. Then in the next drawer down is full of lip products. Oh, I also have this in here for some reason. This is what I got. This is the PR package that I got from Makeup Geek. So it just contains nine of their single shadows. And of course, I'm going to keep every single one of these. Thanks again, Marlena. Um, this drawer is just full of lip products. Like, we've got... Colourpop, MAC, Makeup Geek, iHeart Makeup, Avon, Jeffree Star, Jeffree Star, Mannequin, which is actually my favourite, so I'm going to put it in my acrylic set up here. And I'm going to demote this to this drawer. Um, I've got some Makeup Geek foiled lip glosses, which I never reach for, ever. I've got one still in packaging. I've got Jeffree Star Androgyny. I've got some MAC... Um, Got some retro matte lip creams. I've got the Maybelline Superstay matte inks. I've got some NYX ones. I've got this little Avon one, which is absolutely lovely. It's very much like the NYX soft matte lip creams. Um, I've got some Soap and Glory. Again, more Makeup Geek. Um, some mini colour pops, which I was sent as freebies. These are just some of their ultra satin lips. Some of the MUA Velvet lip lacquers. I'm actually going to get rid of this because I really hate how these smell. I'm going to get rid of this because I bought this and it's awful. This is the Lime Crime Diamond Crushers um, lipstick and I never use it and it's not very nice. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave this drawer because it's full and yeah. And then hopefully you can see this drawer. This is just where I keep some of my affordable um, eyeshadow palettes. Obviously I know I've got some Makeup Revolution and Colourpop in here but these are ones that I reach for more. 
So I've just got, I actually decluttered these recently because I gave some to my mother-in-law. Um, so I've got this by Soap and Glory. Um, this is just one of their Christmas um, box sets from last year. And it has these three shadows in which I never ever use, but I keep it just purely because it's got this huge, huge mirror. And then it's also got the Glow All Out Luminizing Face Powder, which I really like. Um, it just sucks that it's in this massive box, but um, I like it for the mirror and it's quite handy to have like such a big mirror like this and I decluttered like I said a load of these palettes so I've got the Makeup Revolution eyeshadow palette in Night Shimmers which is just a really pretty shimmer palette and then I've got the same but this is in the matte 18 edit and this is just a really nice neutral palette which is quite handy to have and then I've got this MUA one um, which is in the shade Glitter Ball and I really like this one so I just keep hold of this as well then I have this W7 dupe for the MAC 9 shadow um, whatever it's called, <laughs> palettes. Um, I never reach for this, but I quite like the colours, so I'm just going to keep it anyway. And then I've got this Beauty Pie, pa Beauty Pie palette in the shade, in the set, the 10 Best Smoky Eyeshadows. This is really nice, and I use some of these shimmer shades for highlighters, so I'm definitely keeping hold of this. And then I've got the this Freedom eyeshadow and this Makeup Revolution one, and they're both purple. I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get rid of both of them because I never ever reach for them. So I thought I'd just quickly show you everything that I'm getting rid of. So I've got like the Love Flush palette, the NARS um, Orgasm blush. I've got some Freedom Makeup Revolution, MUA Lime Crime. There's a bit of everything on Stage of Beverly Hills. So I just wanted to show you everything that I've got rid of, and look how much better my drawers look now. Okay, not this drawer. We'll ignore this one. So guys, thanks so much for watching. I know I don't have the biggest collection ever, but um, yes, thanks for helping me declutter, guys. That's it for this video, guys, because my battery is flashing, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.